What's up YouTube, it's Herbo13. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a craft bucket server for Minecraft so you guys can run it on your computer. You can have your friends join. Uh, I'm going to be using Logby and Hamachi as well uh, with the craft bucket server, so you're going to have to download both of these things. But I'll show you guys exactly how to do that right now. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to the craft bucket uh, website. And you can also type in 1.3.1 because this will be for the 1.3.1 version of Craft Bucket. So I'm going to click on this and then go to the Get Craft Bucket version. And then you can see right here, this is the setting up the server. I'll have this link in the description so you guys can see it. Uh, if you're running Windows, Mac, or Linux, this will be the site that you want to go look at. Uh, but for Windows, it's probably the easiest one. You just click on this one right here. This is Craft Bucket Recommended Build. And this will be always updated. Uh, currently, it's for the 1.3.1 version. So you're going to hit Keep. And now this will download a .jar file. You want to make sure you are updated on your Java, um, whether you're running Java 6 or Java 7. It doesn't really matter as long as you know uh, which one you are uh, using. Um, so you're going to get this jar file. Make sure it's either on your desktop or your uh, downloads folder or somewhere that you know where it is. Um, and you're going to find it. And then the first thing I recommend is to make a new folder. And I'm going to type this uh, test bucket server. You can just name it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, but you're gonna drag the craft bucket jar file that you just downloaded into that folder. So you're gonna let go into that, and then it'll be right there. Um, and now you want to open that up again, and now you double click on it, and this will actually run the jar uh, folder. It'll run the jar, not folder, the program for you. Uh, so now that is done. So now what this does is this, this gives all the stuff that you need to actually run the server except for the launch command. Now the launch command is very easy to do. You just go back to this website and right here, if you're running Java 6, you're going to copy this. If you're running Java 7, you're going to copy this. Currently, I'm having Java 6 run with my Minecraft, so I'm going to copy this one right here. You're just going to copy that. And now this is the launch command that will actually make the server run. So you're going to copy that little bit of text right there. You're going to go back into your folder, right click, click on new and then click on text document and now it doesn't really matter that's a text one you just want to open that up and then paste whatever you had uh, from this website into that text document right there alright so then after you do that you're gonna click on file save as and then you're gonna name it anything you want you can name it like run dot bat or launch dot bat but you want to make sure it's dot bat at the end of it so you're gonna I'm gonna type in run dot bat and then what that will do is it'll make a bat folder or a bat f uh, file for you so that will run the actual program that you've written uh, in there. it copy and paste it right into there so you want to make sure that's saved in the, your uh, craft bucket server that you have all the stuff in there so I'm going to save it as run dot bat hit save now exit out of this and now if you go back into your folder you're going to see that new text document dot text you can delete the dot text version of it because that you don't need you do need to have this run.bat version right here though. So now uh, you're pretty much done except if you go back into the run.bat, if you click on, if you right click on it and then click on edit, you'll see that right here it says craftbucket.jar. That is the file that it's going to be looking for and so this is the file it needs to be. So you need to rename this one as the craftbucket-1.3.1-r1.0, uh, whatever one that is for you. You want to rename that as whatever it says in your run.bat. So mine says craftbucket.jar. It'll say the same for all you guys. Uh, so you want to rename this one as craftbucket.jar. And now what I need to do first is to actually go back into here. Uh, and then end this process. So when you first clicked on that, you'll be running it. And if you try to rename it, it won't let you. So uh, the easiest thing you need to do is just to right click on the taskbar down here, click on start task manager, and then you're going to see this JAVA Java uh, W.exe, and you'll see either 32 or 64, whichever one you're running, and then you're going to uh, right click on it and then click on end process. So what that will do is it'll just end that jar program that you were running before. And now you can rename this uh, to craft bucket. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff past here and just make it craftbucket.jar and then that will save it as that. And now you are pretty much done, except you need to link your uh, server to an actual IP address to host it. The easiest way to get hosting is to go to Logme and Hamachi. Uh, it's free, you can get up to five, five people on your server and have them run it as well. Uh, so I suggest you go do that. Just download Logme and Hamachi, I'll have links in the description. Uh, once you get it, you're gonna type in your little information, but then you're gonna hit uh, power on. And this will give you a uh, IP address uh, once it finishes. So I'm just going to delete this one. Uh, yeah, I'll delete this one. And then what you want to do, it'll give you this IP address up here, but you want to create a network. So you're going to click on create a new network and name it whatever, uh, 
and name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name this Robo13 uh, Bucket Server, whatever. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to write, uh, name it Robo13 Bucket and then type in the password. Uh, you can make it whatever you want. I'm going to make my Minecraft. So I'm going to hit Create. So now what this will do is it'll make a little network for you, and then that's what you're going to give to your friends for them to join it as well. So once they are joined it, uh, they're going to click on Network, and then click on Join an Existing Network, and then they're going to type in the same thing right here. They're going to type in your name or your uh, server name and then your uh, password that you created, and then click Join, and that's how you get your friends to join as well. Okay, so now you have everything set up, and now you just need to copy this. So you're going to right-click up here, click Copy IPv4, and you're going to get that, and then you're going to go back into your craft bucket uh, folder, go to the server.properties uh, file down here. You're going to right click on that, click on open with, and then you want to make sure it's open with Notepad. You click OK. And then you're going to go find the server IP section, which is right there server IP. You're going to paste the server that you got from Logme and Hamachi. So right there, 5.72, whatever. You're going to paste it right here, and that will give uh, your server an IP address to go look for. So now you're going to hit save. And now you are good to go. You want to make sure you have Logami and Hamachi running. You can minimize that, though. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this website and of my mail. So now, okay, so now now all you have to do is click on the run.bat, and you will have your server running. So I'm going to double-click on this, and it should say that it's starting to make the level. It should say preparing spawn area and all that stuff, and then it will say done. And you're going to minimize this because this is the actual server running right now. This is it right here. So I'm going to minimize that. You can exit out of your little folder, though, because you don't need that. You just need to have Logging and Hamachi and your server running at the same time. So now you're going to go into uh, Minecraft and then log in. And then you want to make sure you are updated to 1.3.1 or whatever version you need to be updated to. And then uh, you just go into multiplayer. And then after you do that, I already uh, I already did this once, so I already have it down here, but I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm going to add the server. I want to make sure it's the same IP address as the Longme and Hamachi, though, so I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste it into the server address uh, bar for Minecraft. And then I'm just going to hit Done. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and try to log on to my server through Bucket. So once I hit Done, you can then log right in uh, to your server, and there you go. As you guys can see in the bottom left-hand corner there, it says, My name, join the game, and that is the yellow text. That is a uh, Bucket feature. Uh, you can add all the different plugins into this. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if it worked for you, please hit that Like button down below. If it didn't work for you, please let me know. Send me an iMessage at RoboIMessage uh, at AOL.com, and I'll try to help you guys out. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this. Uh, Bucket is a great service to use. You do have to have Logman Hamachi or another type of uh, IP address host to use it, uh, but it does work perfectly. Uh, yeah, I love it. I, I use it for everything pretty much. And it's a great thing to use plugins as well. So you guys can go to the website and check out all the plugins that it has. Uh, but that's it. So I hope you guys like this. Once again, I, I have a bunch of new channels. I have the gameplay channel. I have a Minecraft channel. And now I have new vlog channel. So go check that out. It's uh, youtube.com slash David's Daily Vlogs. Uh, go check that out. I'll have links in the description. I just post uh, daily videos every now and then. I try to do it every day, but it's kind of hard. But, you know, go check those out. I, I would really appreciate it if you guys went and subscribed to those videos, commented on them, watched them. Uh, but that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.